Hello and welcome to a new Kaba time. It's uh, the 5th of October 2022 and as you can see a new selection of watches. Uh, not everything is in here because uh, a lot are with my watchmaker for servicing. But we've got two rows of Omega, a bunch of Cartier, still many more but uh, currently being serviced. Uh, Rolex, Jaeger Le Coultre, Tudor, Patek Philippe and then uh, Panerai and a bunch of other brands. Let's start with the Omega at the top. Um, yeah, for starters, let's look for a good angle. That's always a difficult thing as well. Here we go. Um, at the top, we have uh, Omega de Ville square, manual wind. Um, another manual wind square. This is a steel Genève. Uh, both of these have been serviced. There are two automatic Omega squares as well. Um, they have already been serviced but uh, haven't been picked up from the watchmaker yet. They're also ready, will be in the full listing. Next up we've got the Omega Genève with the uh, Breguet numerals, Seamaster uh, Cosmic. This is a big C case. Then we've got, well, we've actually got four Seamaster Cosmics here. We've got this one um, with grey silver brush dial with blue ribbon. We've got this um, silver sparkle dial or white sparkle dial. And then this white crosshair dial. Um, lastly we have this beautiful black starry um, constellation Manhattan and this blue powder dial Genève Dynamic. Um, there are a few, like I said, there are a few more watches uh, that will be in the listing on Reddit. See the link in the description below uh, that are not included in this video because they're still with uh, my watchmaker, but uh, most of them are already finished. Up next, we have this beautiful Omega Seamaster. This is the Deville type, uh, as you can see by the case back. Uh, this one is just a little bit earlier. This one, incredible black dial. Uh, it is incredible, uh, incredibly difficult to photograph and video as well, but just looks incredible. Dial does have some marks at 12 and at uh, 5 there's some um, dial paint missing, but still looks incredible. Um, just got fully serviced. We've got this chubby Seamaster with uh, 36912 dial. This beautiful bumper automatic sub seconds with uh, rare grey khaki dial. This bumper automatic constellation. This big boy uh, Genève with uh, hooded lux. And next we, we've got an even bigger boy. This one is uh, Seamaster. Um, chronograph. This one is uh, well also often referred to as the Anakin Skywalker, even though that's incorrect. Uh, this one I've already replaced the crystal, uh, the crystal seal, the pushers. I have a brand new crown for this and uh, case back seal. Um, so yeah, it it um, well will be near. Well, it, it should be waterproof, um, but yeah, very cool piece as a light pattern on the dial. And next we, we've got a few women's watches, gorgeous pieces. These are slightly bigger for vintage uh, women's watches. Um, all around, well, these are like this 25 or 26 millimeter, this is 23. This is 30 millimeter diameter without crown. Up next, we've got a ton of Cartier, even though you don't see them. Uh, there's still about eight Cartier not in this video. Um, first up, we've got this beautiful Cartier Panther Mini. Um, this one is 18 karat solid gold with factory diamonds. It just got fully serviced by Cartier. Comes with uh, service papers and two year international service warranty. Also has the original box and the rare original solid gold pusher. This is to set the time on the back of the watch. And of course you get a service pouch and everything. 
just very very cool piece uh, quite rare to find and um, well for an excellent price next to it you've got a Cartier Santos du Monde with diamonds which isn't shown here because it's with Cartier for servicing we've got a Centur 18 karat gold from 1973 also not shown uh, then we've got this beautiful Cartier tank this one is the uh, men or unisex size beautiful piece this one is a manual lined one and yeah nice condition let me just rub my finger smudges of the dial as you can see beautiful piece well all of them are beautiful but uh, yeah that one does have some uh, uh, some wear to the plating which is uh, well almost to be expected then we've got this quartz cartier tank for men this one has a beautiful spider dial it's uh, just incredible only under certain angles do you get the true depth of it and just really stunning uh, both these have original buckles by the way also um, it's possible to get this one replated uh, so it will be like uh, like new so it will look brand new um, so yeah just uh, let me know then we've got this uh, Cartier Quartz women's watch also beautiful spider dial just really stunning piece next to it we've got the uh, Cartier Panther Vendome um, this one women's watch very stunning piece as well um, just really incredible fits up to about 6.8 inch wrists um, quite large um, next to it we've got this Cartier uh, Cartier Cougar this one is a two-tone with bracelet and a Cartier Cougar two-tone on leather strap with deployant buckle then in the next row we have this beautiful tin Patek Philippe reference 3A20 uh, this one is 18 karat solid gold from the 1990s has uh, already been fully serviced next to it we have this incredibly rare rolex stages for women this one is 18 karat solid gold with completely iced out factory diamonds that's right all of these diamonds are factory original which is very rare um, especially in this configuration uh, i forgot the, the reference of this watch um, product six nine something something but uh, yeah just it's a very rare reference and very very cool condition comes with uh, this box and um, yeah just really stunning piece a true eye catcher it is next week we've got this 18 karat solid gold rolex day day with blue sunburst style next to that one we have this blue sunburst stages reference 1601 um, nice original condition already serviced as well um, yeah most of these are already serviced well actually yeah practically practically all of them already serviced this beautiful rolex oyster perpetual date with uh, white silver mosaic brick shantung uh, linen dial there's uh, so many names these go by but uh, I believe the correct one is Shantung dial just really stunning piece next to it this beautiful 38 millimeter Tudor Prince Oyster date um, just very nice big piece uh, something you don't come across too often also has uh, been freshly serviced then this gorgeous Jaeger Le Coultre automatic Fab Suisse so this one is a French market watch which you can tell by the Fabrique en Suisse on the dial beautiful piece and this is a bumper automatic with uh, well the military type dial and beautiful blued hands uh, it's a bit difficult to capture its beauty in video right now but yeah just really stunning piece very nice original condition Next to it, we've got the uh, Le Coultre uh, Subseconds with black and white tuxedo dial. Really cool piece with a uh, waffle outer ring and 
um, yeah, a stripe, guilloche, tapestry, whatever you want to call it, center ring, just a really cool bullseye tuxedo dial, something you don't see um, very often. Lastly, we have this Jaeger Le Coultre, uh, uh, tank or uniplan as uh, Jaeger Le Coultre would call it. This one is a beautiful sub seconds piece. Um, it's a uh, similar dial design as the Reverso and the same movement as the Reverso. This one is also from uh, 1940s, I believe. Um, and then there's also uh, Etrier for women, but uh, not in this video. Then up next we have this gorgeous Panerai Luminor uh, PAM009 from 1998. This is an A-series um, with tritium dial, just very special piece, quite rare, you don't find them very often. Um, and yeah, already got serviced and just really, really awesome. Next to it, we have this um, Movado Museum watch. This one is not just a Movado, it's a Zenit Movado. So the um, Movado and Zenit worked together in the 60s and 70s, uh, maybe even later, I don't know. And this watch was made by Zenit. So it's a Zenit movement, Zenit case, and yeah, that just makes it super awesome. Um, you have the date at 12, where uh, Movado originally just had a, a dot or whatever. But uh, yeah, Zenit put a date in there and it looks awesome. This one has a black glossy dial, makes it difficult to capture, but yeah, just really, really stunning piece. Next to it, another Zenit. This one is uh, 35 or 36 millimeter. Um, gold plated automatic really stunning piece superb condition next to that one we've got a 1937 universal Genève Compure in 18 karat solid gold very cool piece and very nice original condition next to that one we have a uh, near mint or new old stock Parat um, this one is a German watch and German market watch Really cool piece, it has the original strap, original price tag, everything. Um, just super cool piece. The crystal has uh, some light crazing as you can see. I can put in a new crystal if you'd like, but I prefer to keep everything original as I found it. Um, but yeah, possible to replace the crystal. And well, you can still get this crystal as well just very nice piece and how often do you find something that's brand new never used and next week we've got this Selena exclusive which was apparently new old stock when my friend bought it but he wore it about seven times uh, and yeah still in superb original condition but not new anymore Next to it, we've got uh, Vanita World Timer. This one is a skin diver. A pretty simple, cool watch. Next to it, uh, Electra Automatic with uh, black glossy dial. A really cool piece as well. And a nice original condition. This is a ETA movement. Um, and next to it, almost at the end, we've got uh, Enikar Sherpa DD Automatic. Um, this one is a Sherpa 600, um, nice cool piece with the original bracelet and yeah, just really cool. And then this Mido Multifort pocket watch. Um, there's also uh, a few more watches in here that aren't shown, which is um, a Buren Dirty Dozen watch used by the British military in World War II. Uh, Jules Henri Cost, Chronograph Type 20 and a Breitling 765 AVI. Anyway, um, for all info please check the Reddit listing, uh, the link is uh, in the description and yeah, hope you enjoy it.